Day 3. The third step of the divine will in the Queen of Heaven, the smile of all creation for the conception of the celestial baby. The soul to the sovereign virgin. Mama, this little child of yours, enraptured by your celestial lessons, feels the extreme need to come every day upon your maternal knees to listen to you and to place your maternal teachings into my heart. Your love, your sweet accent, your pressing me to your heart in your maternal arms, infuse courage in me and the confidence that my mama will give me the great grace of making me understand the great evil of my will to make me live from the divine will. Lesson of the Queen of Heaven My child, listen to me. It is the heart of a mother that speaks to you. And as you see that you want to listen to me, my heart rejoices and feels the certain hope that my child will take possession of the kingdom of the divine will, which I possess within my maternal heart to give to my children. Therefore, be attentive in listening to me and write all my words within your heart that you may always meditate on them and mold your life according to my teachings. Listen, my child, as soon as the divinity smiled and celebrated my conception, the supreme fiat took the third step over my little humanity. Tiny, tiny as I was, it endowed me with divine reason and moving the whole creation in feast. It caused me to be recognized by all created things as their queen. They recognized in me the life of the divine will and the whole universe prostrated itself at my feet. Even though I was tiny and not yet born, Singing my praises, the sun made feast for me and smiled at me with its light. The heavens celebrated me with their stars, which smiled at me with their meek and sweet flittering and flickering and offered themselves as a radiant crown upon my head. The sea made feast for me with its waves rising and falling peacefully. In sum, there was not one created thing that did not unite itself to the smile and to the feast of the Most Holy Trinity. All accepted my dominion, my rule, my command, and they felt honored because after so many centuries from the time Adam had lost his command, and dominion as king by withdrawing from the divine will, they found their queen in me. All creation proclaimed me queen of heaven and earth. My dear child, you must know that when the divine will reigns in the soul, it does not know how to do small things, only great. It wants to centralize all its divine qualities within the fortunate creature, and everything that came from the omnipotent fiat surrounds her and remains obedient to her wishes. What did the divine fiat not give to me? It gave me everything. Heaven and earth were in my power. I felt dominator of all, even of my creator. Now, my child, listen to your mamma. Oh, how my heart grieves in seeing you weak, poor, and without true dominion over yourself. Fears, doubts, apprehensions are the things that dominate you, all miserable rags of your human will. Do you know why? Because the life of the divine will, intact, is missing in you, life which putting to the flight 
all the evils of the human will may make you happy and fill you with all the goods it possesses. Ah, if with a firm resolution you decide no longer to give life to your human will, you will feel all evils die within you and all goods come back to life. And then everything will smile at you. The divine will will take the third step also in you and all creation will make you feast for the newly arrived in the kingdom of the divine will. So, my child, tell me, will you listen to me? Do you give me your word that you will never do your will, never again? Know that if you do this, I will never leave you. I will place myself as guardian of your soul. I will envelop you within my light so that no one would dare to disturb my child. And I will give you my rule that you may rule over all the evils of your will. The Soul Celestial Mama, your lessons descend into my heart and fill it with celestial balm. I thank you for lowering yourself so much toward me, poor little one. But listen, oh my Mama, I fear myself. But if you want it, and I can do anything with you, I will abandon myself like a little baby in the arms of my mama, and I am certain I will satisfy your maternal yearnings. Little Sacrifice Today, to honor me, you will look at the heavens, the sun, and the earth, and uniting yourself with all, you will recite three glory bees three times in order to thank God for having constituted me queen of all. Prayer Powerful queen, dominate over my will to convert it into divine will.